What's up guys, it's Crabbar6 back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about one of the weakest defenders in Rainbow Six Siege, more specifically Pulse, and why he's a bad pick. So let's get right into it. Now most of us know Pulse is one of the original Pathfinder operators in Rainbow Six Siege, meaning that he was one of the first operators to ever be introduced to the game. That being said, it means Pulse has been in the game for almost 8 years now, meaning that he's been through many metas, strategies, different players, and more importantly, it's given time for players to get used to him and develop strategies for him. Now, due to his longevity and his unique gadget, many players often see him as a pretty strong operator, but in reality, he's not as effective as you might think. So first, let's talk about Pulse's gadget, arguably the most important part of Pulse. Now, Pulse is equipped with the cardiac sensor, which allows him to see enemy heartbeats through floors, walls, anything in the game within an 8 meter radius. Now, at first, this might seem OP. However, given the limited range of 8 meters, this could lead to a false sense of security, and it also takes them a second to put away the gadget. And of course, since your hands are being used with the cardiac sensor, you obviously don't have a weapon out, making you extremely vulnerable. So, it only really works close range. As you see in this clip, this guy doesn't pick up anyone near me. Even the guy in garage side uh, eventually died to, it doesn't pick him up at all. That leads me to my next point. In addition to the limited range, IQ has almost double the range of 20 meters of which you can see Pulse's scanner. And with IQ being one of the strongest operators right now, this just doubles down on the fact that Pulse's gadget is mediocre at best. As you see in this next clip, it's extremely easy for me to counter Pulse, and he has to be directly below me to even see me. Also take note of how he missed the Nitro Cell. This takes me to my next point of how the Nitro Cell pretty much like holds together his gadget. Now most of the time Pulse is going to be below a bomb site, waiting for that specific and final moment where he can kill the, the players and planning the diffuser. And most of the time it's with the C4. However, if you miss that C4, you're pretty much doomed. This is due to the fact that he has a very weak loadout. He comes with a UMP45 which is a bottom tier SMG at best, with a whopping 38 damage and 600 fire rate or the option up, in my opinion, one of the worst shotguns of the game with the M10104. And now because of the shotgun's terrible damage and terrible destruction to make rotationals for your team, and in addition with the UMP having the 1.5, the UMP is the better option almost 99% of the time. Even with the UMP having the 1.5, his guns are just it's not strong enough for him to fall back on after he uses a nitro cell. Therefore, playing Pulse is almost like a gamble, for you have to pretty much guarantee a nitro cell kill to get any actual value out of him. Now when I say value, Pulse can still get a lot of value and info for your teammates. However, compared to other operators like Valk or Salas, who have 1 better weapons, 2 better gadgets, and 3 more util for your team to use, it's pretty much a no-brainer to avoid Pulse. And with neither of Pulse's weapons being particularly effective in most situations, it's just not viable to run Pulse in this day and age. Especially with the current meta we're in, where it's very frag heavy, no droning, and a lot faster gameplay, you need good weapons to fall back on. Therefore, ops like Echo, Solace, and Valk are just better picks than Pulse. And so to sum it up, Pulse in this current meta is a bad pick. While his gadget can work effectively sometimes, he can be easily countered and his terrible loadout just put him at a disadvantage when comparing him to other operators. Not only that, but his actual gameplay make him almost a gamble to play, whether you get the C4 kill or not. Therefore, you're probably just better off picking someone else, and even if you're just trying to play him for the 1.5, Echo still has a 1.5 and a shield, and he has two Echo drones that can deny the plant. So you probably pick any other operator in the game right now and it'd probably be better than Pulse. Just don't quote me on that. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.